welcome to a new YouTube video. This is a new series where I try to go from Bronze to Mythic free to play in a brand new account. As you can see, this is my new account. We have zero golds and zero gems and we have the three daily quests. The first thing I advise you to do is switch one of the quests to see if we can go for a 750. Unfortunately, we didn't, but it's okay. So as you can see, Bronze, Bronze. And the first thing I'm going to advise you to do here is actually let me just show you in a second go to this, to this website this is not sponsored or anything this site is called mdg arena codes ultimate list updated may 2021 as you could see my account on arena has nothing so not a single gem gold packs or anything and i'm going to put all the codes they have here i'm going to leave the list down below in the comments so you can not in the comments in the description box on the video so you can also try it out for yourself and see what you think and okay so i'm going to insert all the codes that we have here and let's see what we get after that this is free everyone can use them uh and it gives you a couple packs to start so let's just put all these codes i'm going to speed it up so you don't go through the trouble and i'll be back with my reward Okay, so I forgot to tell you, but the idea is that you go to the store tab because some people are really brand new and don't know where to apply the codes and you are going to put the code here where it says redeem code. So for example, play Brav uh, play Strix Avon, for example. And we got three of the packs and that's how you redeem a code. So let me just do all of that and be... Okay, everyone, I'm back. Uh, so we open all of this. Um, also, besides opening these, I, we also opened uh, some cool... Let me just do something here. Uh, we also opened some cool cosmetics and I actually got the Professor Onyx avatar with a code that gives you two random cosmetics and he gave me the Professor Onyx avatar. So that was pretty cool. You get some sleeves as well. So you, your deck can look pretty. But these were the packs that I really opened here. So let's open it. Maybe we'll open something we can play with. And my idea for now, for my strategy, like I haven't opened a new account since I had mine years ago. So my beginning strategy is to do the cycling deck that is a almost free deck. Um, I still need 31 in common, so I'm not, I cannot do it right now. I'm just going to be doing a random deck with the cards that I open and saving up until I have enough cards to play with my... Uh, with my deck, with my cycling deck, that actually I think it's very competitive and free. So let's see what these packs give us. I'm going to try to leave time stamps for these, um, just so if you want to skip this part, you can. But if you are interested to see what I'm opening in these packs, maybe get some ideas what I can craft here. Maybe I'll open a cool rare that I can play around. I'm going to treat this almost as sealed, where I open packs and see what cool uh, rares I open and build decks around that. The Shepherd is a cool card. Maybe Corey will give us cool cards for cycling. That would be sweet because we know it, that we need it. Oh no, oops. Okay. Ooh, that's a nice one. We have we are getting some cool cards here. Uh, again, I'm so I'm sorry, I'm such a mess. Also, another thing that I recommend is checking your daily deals on the store because sometimes you might find cool deals. Uh and yeah, just go. Sometimes they have, for example, 500 gold for only 100. So you get free gold or gems sometimes. So stay tuned for that. We already have 19 and commons of the 30 that we need, I think. So that's pretty cool. And we still have packs to open. Another thing that I really recommend is that if you have any 
one that you know or if you are in an MTG uh, group on Facebook, you can ask for pre-list codes. Uh, some people have spares because an account only can use one of each chat and those give you six boosters of each chat. I actually have some but I'm not going to use that because I want to do this a free-to-play thing where even if you don't have any connections and you just don't want to do that, you, you don't need to. So I'm going to really take on the challenge and see how far we can go with this. We got a meeting, that's pretty cool. We are also opening a lot of uncommons, which is great. Okay, so... This is all the packs that we have. I'm going to import the cycling deck. I'm going to see the cards that I have and make a um, temporary deck until we can build the cycling. And I'll be right back with more information and updates. Okay, everyone. So I tried the intro decks and I really didn't like him. Uh, so what I did was, since I didn't want to craft cards that I didn't need and I couldn't craft the cycling deck yet, I crafted the cards that I could and then the other ones I filled with like shocks, this that I had, you know, just cards that I had and other cyclers that are worst, but cycle anyway. So this is what I came up, some pacifismus. Let's see if this works or not. I just made it a copy, it's imported deck too. And let's see if this works or not. We hope it does. Let's, let's find out. I, I mean, I assume cy like regular cycling needs to be very good. I crafted like the bigger, the creature that are more important and also Zenit Flare, which is a key card. And until we save some gold, we gotta do this. Okay, I can keep this. I can definitely keep this, it's not that bad. No, oh, they are really mulligan, that's go, I like that. I mean, two foxes opening, that, that has to be very good. Against these bronze players, you know? I assume they are not going to like it when they see it. So before attacks, we cycle. That's okay. Kind of need a land, or at least I would like to have a land. Oh, that's pretty good. I think they have to jump, right? This is just one of the filler cards because I didn't really have anything else. Oh, we got another land. That's pretty good. We can start using the Valiant Rescuer next. Like, what does like a bronze deck does when you turn to F2 five fives? Not much. Okay, okay. So this deck is confirmed good. Let's play a couple more games. So we try to see if it's really good or not. Okay, that's pretty nice. Fly Orbit, that's a cute name. It is a great end. It almost seems like the real deck. I just had to like switch the decks because one thing a lot of people think it's good is like just build a deck. Even if it's a bad deck, just build it. No! Like, the thing is that if you already want to do this cycling one, just craft the cards for this that you can and just fill it up with cards that are not as good now, but then you can just craft the ones that you need. Instead of just making one complete, like, temporary deck and then don't have the means to do more, you know? Kind of want to do this. We already had a flare, which is pretty good. Okay, so next one we can rescue her and cycle the memory leak. Okay, don't they don't have the mana to pay for it yet, so I'm actually cool with that. To pay to get a uh, first strike. Ooh, two Zenith's just too good, right? 
Are they thinking about blocking? That's okay. This is such a bad card. Let's see how they block it. At least my Zenith floor gets bigger, that's the thing. Oh no, they have a trick! But I might need to use Zenith Flare in response. Zenith Flare can also act as removal if needed, so that's the good news. Like, this card would always be a cycler, which would be much better, but we're not there yet, but as soon as we get there, you know. I think I just put Luros in my end, to be honest, here. So I can play it next turn if needed. Slowly but surely they're at 11 and they are a life gain deck, so that makes me happy. They're playing that intro deck. Fair enough. how they want to block this. If they block with my uh, my arsonist, I can deal one damage to it and then... Okay, that's pretty good. My Lurus is going to carry me because now I can play the rescuer again if needed. Mm, they want to kill Lurus? I think they have a pacifism too. The thing is that pacifism doesn't really get rid of Lurus because then I can still keep playing my, hands for, my, my cards from my grave. Ooh, that's perfect. That is so close. We are so close. Just We just need two more. Actually, if these dies, we only need one more cycler, so. Nah, that's so good. Easy. Perfect. Okay, everyone, this was just a bit of me playing and for you to guys realize what I did in the beginning We had the color challenges. I didn't go all the way through those, but I probably will in my free time uh, We got three completed on the blue and we got all the white done. Uh, I can do those well, if you don't want to play those, you should, but if you don't want to, you can just go to the settings and I think it's on your account. There is a thing that says unlock, um, unlock, you know, um, all modes, all play modes, and that way you don't need to go to the color challenge, you can play other games before. Uh, also, draft is good if you are good at it, but uh, if you are a free to player and a new player, maybe I don't recommend it as much. It's pretty good, don't get me wrong, it's very good, but it gets better once you get better at it. But it always gets you at least packs, so if you save some money, maybe consider drafting. Next week, I hope to be at gold, at least, or silver even, and I will 
do a couple of clips or of what I'm going to do and everything. This was just a couple of hours of me playing. Uh, so next week is going to be a longer episode, hopefully with me changing decks. Like, first of all, I think once I can improve this deck, the cycling deck, uh, to be optimized, I can go easily to gold or silver with that. And then I'm going to just save gold, do my dailies every day, and hopefully do some fun free-to-play junk decks to bring to you next week. If you like this series, please subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.